everybody, welcome back to Buzz With Your Cuz. If you have been braving the elements of shorter days and dark cold nights, maybe bundled up in front of a fire, probably had a beer or two. And when you find a place that embraces winter, you drink their winter ale. Heck, it's Iceland. There's ice in the name. They must make good winter beer. Maybe they make good beer all the time. We've tried Einstock before, although then the Viking did not have that cool uh, little Santa hat on. Maybe if you can't see it, he's a better view here. Um, that is their, their mascot, right? The, the Viking, which automatically makes you want to swing an axe and open this thing. But um, they do have a, a number of really good beers. We've drank the P Arctic Pale Ale before. And that's the base for this beer. So we really like that one. That's what kind of got me hopped up to drink this one. And if you're hopped up to drink beer, make sure you follow us here. Also, um, subscribe to the channel if you want. And make sure you are of, of legal, legal drinking age in your local municipality before you crack this top. Look at that. All right. So... This bad boy is 8%. I'm gonna pour some in the glass and then I'll drink it out of the can and we'll see if it makes any difference. Plus, I want you to see what it looks like. Look at that, looks like a nice caramel color. Although I do not believe there's any caramel flavoring in here. A nice head on there. It definitely has a spiced scent to it. So it says that this is brewed with Icelandic spruce tips and uh, smoked barley. So those are actually the two different ingredients from the Arctic Pale Ale. This includes um, hand-cut uh, Icelandic spruce tips that are then cured in whiskey. So maybe that's where the bump in the APV comes up. And uh, also smoked Icelandic barley. So let's go ahead and uh, let's give this a sip. Let's give this a taste. It already, like I said, it already has that caramel, that sp spice scent to it. It tastes a little smoky, although maybe it is uh, obviously the, the smoked barley and uh, the whiskey soaked spruce tips that these were brewed with uh, certainly lend to that flavor. It does not taste like pine. It doesn't taste like wood or sap, but it does have like that, that smoky, um, you know, tree type, uh, you know, it, it just, you have to taste it. It's hard to explain. It's definitely a full flavor. Uh, you do get a little bit of that whiskey in the smooth finish. And it, uh, think of it, maybe that's where the caramel of the smoothness is coming from. Uh, there's also chocolate malt in here, pale ale malt, and a crystal malt, and uh, Bavarian hops. So that's uh, those are the ingredients here. It's 8%. Uh, I don't drink a lot of winter spice beers. Uh, they're they're kind of gimmicky, but this one is good. I would actually drink one of these. It would probably go good with marshmallows. All right, let's, uh, let's taste it out of the can, right? There's no indicator on here whether it should be in my winner take ale glass or out of the can. Most of the times we open the can and just drink. So let's see if the experience is any different. It is, it is. Out of the can, I'm getting a lot more um, like hops out of this. It has, it's not bitter like an IPA but it does have a very nice uh, bitter finish to it. I know it sounds counterproductive, but it's not bitter forward, it's bitter finish, and it helps kind of clean out that, um, that caramel and that smoky flavor. So it is actually, a, it tastes a little bit more complex, believe it or not, out of the can, where the scent does not, so in here, you can smell and taste, so you get more of your senses involved here, if it's just, tastes completely different. Some drinks are, are do not. Some drinks taste the same regardless of how you consume them. This one is clearly better out of the can if you're an IPA drinker or if you like bitter notes. If you like a smoky, smooth finish, better out of the glass. But it's best at this point to say that this beer is a conquest. Good quality beer in the winter category. 
right? So we've drank some winter beers. You've probably seen the other one. I don't know if we're gonna do another one because we're kind of getting to that time of the year where we should be maybe doing some light beers, get, our, get ourselves ready for the, for the beach season. But uh, make sure you follow us here. I don't know what we're doing next, but you're definitely gonna wanna see it because I'm gonna find it, get excited about it, review it, and I hope you comment on it. And that is your buzz with your cuz. We'll see you next week.